Samsung's foldable series represents a whole new class of flagship devices. Not only do they have the unique Galaxy S series chipset and blazing fast storage, but they also feature state-of-the-art technology specifically designed for foldable screens, along with innovative software solutions to ensure you make the most of that extra screen real estate. Samsung has stated unequivocally that, as of 2024, artificial intelligence will be their main priority. According to CounterPoint Research, Samsung experienced a decline in year-over-year -year growth in the first quarter of 2024 when compared to Huawei, despite being a leader in the foldable phone industry. With Google and OnePlus joining the foldable phone market, Samsung's dominance in this field is under threat as competition has heated up. The dynamic future of Samsung's foldable phones is indicated by the changing terrain, which is driven by increased rivalry and technological developments. The Z Fold 6's remarkable display capabilities, which can achieve 2,600 nits of brightness when vision booster and high brightness mode are engaged on both the cover and primary panels, are one of its most notable features. With this latest version, Samsung has changed the material used in the design by using aluminum for the hardware instead of titanium and Gorilla Glass Victus I, in place of armor on the exterior display. With its potent processor and breathtaking display technology, the Z Fold 6 promises to give a quality gaming experience even without some of the rumored enhancements from the Galaxy S24 Ultra, such as the titanium construction. At 239 grams, this Fold 6 weighs 14 grams less than its predecessor. Compared to the Z Fold 4's weight of 263 grams in 2022, this is a substantial reduction. This redesign may give Samsung's line of high-end smartphones a more unified appearance. The Z Fold 6 features a bigger cover screen in addition to the design modifications, which improves the user experience. Compared to its predecessor's 57.4mm, the somewhat larger outer display would measure 60.2mm. A common criticism of the present model may be addressed by this update, which might make the gadget seem more like a traditional smartphone when closed. The impending Z Flip 6 and Z Fold 6 have generated a lot of excitement, with multiple leaks disclosing nearly everything we can anticipate from these foldable smartphones. The IP48 rating, disclosed for both devices, is one feature that hasn't gotten as much attention. The degree of dust and water resistance indicated by this rating, while not as clearly shown as other improvements like Galaxy Eye advancements, could have a big influence on how popular these foldables become. For those who are not aware of IP ratings, they serve as an indicator of how well a gadget, such as a smartphone, is protected from water and dust. As of right now, flagship smartphones must meet IP68 standards, which guarantee total dust tightness and the ability to survive submersion in water up to 10 feet deep without suffering any damage. Comparatively, the Z Fold 6 and Z Flip 6 appear to be protected against particles larger than 1 mm according to the leaked IP48 rating. This is a notable improvement over earlier Samsung foldables and may establish a new benchmark for dustproofing in foldable phones. Many prospective consumers are currently unable to afford foldable phones because of their price, size, or other drawbacks. Plus, since the first foldable smartphones to be sold commercially only turned five this year, we still don't know how well these gadgets' flexible screens will hold up over time. But when users upgrade, they tend to continue with the well-known candy bar form factor due in large part to its longevity and protection against something as commonplace as the lint in your pocket. I hope Samsung confirms these IP ratings for its new foldables at Galaxy unpacked on Wednesday, even though I have no reason to disbelieve blast evidence. Furthermore, I hope whoever unveils these phones highlights how dust-resistant they are now. It appears that the noticeable seam on the Z Fold 6 will not go away even with these promised improvements. According to testers, there will still be a crease, just less of one. This compromise implies that although there might be creases in the gadget, consumers may have a more seamless folding experience as a result of the reduced visibility of the device. With this device, Samsung has chosen to emphasize gaming capabilities, which distinguishes it from its predecessors and places it as a leading competitor in the foldable smartphone industry. The way Samsung is developing its upcoming foldable phones is fascinating, and the Z Fold 6 and Z Flip 6's sole use of Qualcomm CPUs is undoubtedly a noteworthy advance. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 now includes a new feature from Samsung that enables real-time translation, making it an interpreter. The translated text is shown on one screen, 
and the original language is displayed on the other. Users will have to download any necessary additional language packs after logging in with their Samsung account. Furthermore, only a few Pixel and Galaxy phones now support Google Circle to search feature. Samsung Notes Assist is another new tool that uses AI to summarize or transcribe speech recordings. Although summarization is a wonderful tool for longer audio recordings, which are presently restricted to three hours each and require a Samsung account to access, Google Recorder can already transcribe recordings. Samsung doesn't appear to have made any noteworthy camera improvements. The Z Fold 6 is expected to have a similar camera configuration to the Z Fold 5, which includes a 12-megapixel ultra-wide lens, a 10-megapixel telephoto lens, a 10-megapixel front-facing camera, and a 4-megapixel under-display camera for use with open devices. But it's important to keep in mind that other factors affect camera quality besides megapixel count. The sensor's ability to absorb light is significantly influenced by the size of its pixels. Testing revealed that Samsung's choice to increase the pixel size on the S24 Ultra compared to the S23 Ultra produced better photo quality, especially in low light. More than just megapixels, new developments in processing and software techniques can greatly improve the whole shooting experience. For example, it was clear from assessing the Galaxy S23 Ultra in 2023 that Samsung's improved algorithms helped to enhance color accuracy and detail reproduction. As a result, even though the Z Fold 6's camera specs don't appear to have improved much over its predecessors, Samsung can still improve the camera on the device in several ways. Despite the absence of significant hardware improvements, Samsung can provide a better shooting experience by emphasizing pixel size, software optimization, and processing power. Samsung's upcoming foldable smartphone is anticipated to run One UI 6, the company's most recent software version. It is also anticipated to have Galaxy Eye, a set of cutting-edge driven software features that Samsung debuted earlier this year. These features include the ability to translate phone calls in real-time, manipulate or remove objects from photographs, and work with Google Circle to search feature. Samsung indicated the important role that Galaxy Eye will play in its next foldable smartphones in a press release advertising its July Unpacked event. However, no specifics were provided. Finally, the battery on the Z Fold 6 will only be a little larger than the previous model, increasing to 4600 mAh from 4400. It's too soon to know if this will affect battery life in any way. After all, the brightness of the panels and the configuration of the new Snapdragon are also important factors. If we had to estimate, we would anticipate that the Z Fold 6's battery life would be comparable to that of the Z Fold 5. An average web browser should log in for 9 hours or such. Samsung appears to be unwilling to compete in the rapid charging space, and it appears that the Z Fold 6 will once more accept up to 25 watts of electricity for a fairly consistent boost in power. Naturally, there is almost a guarantee for both wireless and reverse wireless charging. So if you're in the market for a new phone, be sure to keep these factors in mind before making your final decision. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates and reviews on the latest tech releases. Thanks for watching.